Okay, this, this morning's uh, small project is to make some runs with some Cat6 and some multi-mode fiber from uh, the top on the side where the office is. We're gonna go down the hill and I'm gonna take one run of Cat6 and then two runs, two runs of this multi-mode fiber. And then we'll come back up and cut it off here. This is gonna be used later. I'm gonna leave enough so I can get it into the office. And that'll give us some, some internet down the hill. Same thing with this. Now we just both walk down the hill. What? I'll take this one, you take that one. Just follow me. Just walk through a big spider web. Yeah, make two runs. Oh! Don, don't try not to step on it.
Well, I decided to run double Cat 6 as well. I was just going to run one, but might as well run two, two copper and two fiber, just for backup. One of the workmen is starting to lay the, the water hose down now. That's what it's, that's what it's looking like. It's going to come from the tank behind me down the hill. So I think what I'm going to do is periodically uh, zip tie my four strands down the down the blue water tube. And so two issues with this. First, if you notice that I don't have uh, burial rated Cat 6. It's it's not Cat 6E or uh, it doesn't have the waterproof uh, uh, wrapping on it. But uh, it's what I have right now and uh, I don't have enough time to order some uh, proper cable for underground burial and uh, I'm just going to go with it and if anything happens to the Cat 6 I'll have the fiber. There's also an electrical connection that's going to be pretty near and pretty close to everything that, that runs the pump. It's electrical signal so it's not 240. It's just a signal for the ball valve in this tank to send a signal to the pump that the tank's full. So I'm thinking that it's not um, it's not really high voltage uh, so I'm uh, I'm betting that it won't uh, impact my copper. And like I said, if it does, I've got the I've got the uh, fiber to use. Call the uh, regular cat six kind of an experiment. Let's see what happens.